Alright, so this next area we're going to look at is pretty much the pelvic girdle and the hind limb of the frog. So again, if we're comparing it to our diagram, we have these two large hip bones. If we look at our diagram here, those would be these two large bones here, which are the ilium bones. We then have this bone in the middle of the frog going all the way down the middle. This is this one right here, which is the Euro style. And then you have these two bones that link the two hip bones that go across the sides, which is the sacral vertebra, which are these ones again right here, sacral vertebra, attaching our two ilium bones. Now if we go down here to the bottom, you'll see this thing that juts outward. This is the butt bone, which is again called the ischium. So this right here is the ischium in the picture, and this is the ischium on the real skeleton. Now you'll see that we also have what's called the pubis bone, which is right here, which is the center pubic region, front region of the frog. If I were to touch this one, it would actually be this one deep here inside the frog, and that would be the pubis bone, okay? Now if we work outward from the hip region, we have these big, thick bones that are first coming from the hip upward, and these big bones are called the femur bones. Now you'll see the femur actually has what looks like a round socket here and the round socket fits into the hip bone region. Now this little socket here is called the acetabulum. So this is the acetabulum, uh, which is the socket for the femur bone, okay? Now if we go here, we have this bone here. Now you'll see it kind of looks like two that have been fused right down the middle. Again, you can see the groove right here pretty well, which is two bones that are fused together. This would be the tibiofibula bone because the tibia and the fibula bone have fused together, tibiofibula. Now, if I'm gonna rotate the, the frog skeleton just a tad bit here, so it looks almost just like uh, you can see from the side now. Let's see if I can angle a little bit better. There we go. Now, if we angle this, we're gonna be looking at the bottom feet-like extensions. Now, there's two bones here in the lower part of their feet. The one on the outside, which is thicker, is calcaneum. Now, some kids have tried to remember this by saying thick, it's stronger, titanium, calcaneum. So they think of something really strong like titanium. So that's the calcaneum. Now this little bone that we see here, and you could barely just see it sticking up on the front, which is this inside bone right here, if I'm touching it right there with the probe, that is the astragulus bone. Astragulus is the inside bone. Okay. Now if we look at the wrist, all the little bones that we see here, all these little tiny ones making up this wrist-like, ankle-like area would be the tarsals, all the little tarsals. And then we have the first extension out from the ankle region, which is the metatarsals. So again, if I rotate the skeleton here, this would be metatarsal, 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 all these first ones reaching out, metatarsals which means all of these extensions that look like fingers, all of these are called the phalange bones, okay, the phalanges. Now you'll see that they also have what looks like the beginning of a big, kind of like a big toe, okay, or like almost like a thumb-like extension. This little bone here, oops, let me turn so you can see it better. Now if I rotate maybe, there we go. If I rotate it up, again, you can see this tiny little thumb-like extension, which is called the calcar bone, which is this one right here, calcar. Okay, and that's it for the pelvic region.